Hello human beings, what is up? It is Freak from the Beauty and the Freak Reaction Channel. Uh, this is my little solo side of the channel here. I just get on here talking about random entertainment, basically. So if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And comment down below. Sorry, it's a little early this morning. My, my, my voice is a little off, all right? So... Like I said, this is just it's a little side thing that I'm doing. As you can see from the title, I'm going over the top best uh, songwriters who are also performers. So I know I'm going to leave out a whole bunch of people that aren't even like in the in the spotlight. Like they're probably like just behind the scenes writers. There's a bunch of those that are famous, but what I'm going through is just the ones that influence me to songwrite the way I do, and the ones who I also listen to as well. So I'm going to give five, you know, like there's a whole bunch and I know I'm going to miss miss some even on my own scale of my favorites, but I'm just going to give the five that are off the top of my head right now. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of songwriting and, and lyricism. If you're a great singer and you don't really write anything, it's just a personal opinion on my behalf of like, I don't find them as much of an artist as someone who would be a great singer and then also write their music at least some of them you know what i'm saying at least some some of the songs and some of the melodies at least come up with some of the melodies something you know so probably right off the jump i would have to go with uh neo an r&b singer who's written a bunch of records for you know beyonce rihanna he just he was just very diverse of not only writing his own music, but uh, also writing for other people. And that's kind of like what I look for. Like, can you write for another artist along with having your own signature style of writing and singing? So uh, him, uh, I would say next would definitely be like uh, Bruno Mars. Very good writer. He's also written for other <clears throat> artists as well. But let's, let's, let's switch up the category. Let's not just talk about R&B the whole time. Uh, Maynard, James Keenan from Tool. He's like a really good <clears throat> rock vocalist. But he's also really crazy with like how poetical his writing is within it. Because you, you got to really think about what, what he's saying. Even the titles of the songs are just like, you, know, like you got to Google them half the time. Like schism. What is schism? You know, like. I didn't even, I, that's what taught me the meaning of eulogy, you know, one of their songs. So that's three right there. I'm going to have to do more than five because I'm already thinking of other other artists. So next would be hip-hop. I think that hip-hop, if you're actually writing your own music, hip-hop is the most technical you can get with the concept of songwriting. You know, if you can write a, a very a decent rap verse, more than likely you can eventually, you know, dabble into melodies and, and, and whatnot, you know, but putting together a solid rap verse is like, I think the, I feel like the peak of like technical songwriting. So I would have to go with Andre 3000 just because he's one of my favorites and how he uses words, how he's, how his delivery is with his, you know, tone along with a whole bunch of other hip-hop artists. Like, uh, there's just so many. I, I, I could just name my five of them right now. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Eminem. Like, these are guys that, like, they're not going to be having a ghostwriter. They're going to be writing their own their own stuff, and you can tell that it's their writing. So the hip-hop's out of the way. Uh, let's go with something a little more different. I mean, I really like Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean and the and how he writes as well. Is, is is phenomenal <clears throat> like very like it's like i said poetical if you can make me think or at least like the melodies are great too like if they if you have a really good melody in a song awesome but i but like when i when i say songwriting and lyrics i'm looking for the words to actually either a paint me a picture or make me feel something so those are the main things that i look for when i'm when i'm taking notes from another artist who happens to write their own song um i already know i'm past five so i'm gonna keep going mariah carey here recently 
I didn't realize how much she wrote her own music. But I've been informed on this channel because we have a lot of Mariah Carey fans uh, getting me and my girlfriend to react to lots of Mariah Carey. I did not realize that she is a phenomenal writer and literally almost writes everything she puts out or has put out. Little did I know. You know, I thought that she might have wrote a few, but I didn't realize how much she actually was writing on her own uh, based off of all the people in the comments that we see. But uh, yeah, that's that's a cool little fun fact, and you may you may not have know that known that either. Blah, 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 blah. Hate when I trip over my words, man. I gotta slow it down, bro. Slow it down. But another one, and I'm clearly past five, as I've already said, would be uh, in the in the rap, rock category because I was really influenced by like late '90s. You know, I would say like Kurt Cobain, uh, Bradley Noel from Sublime. Brendan Erie or whatever his name is from Panic at the Disco, that dude can write crazy. Like, like, how do you think of things like that? That's what makes me like, like if, if it's something that's like the words and the lyrics itself are something that like I'm, I'm over here itching my head about or thinking of like, how did you, like, I wish I would have came up with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what makes me really respect the songwriter. The melody as well, that's the first thing that catches the ear. But I don't know. I think it's the, the the fact of afterwards. Does the lyrics itself make me think about something or or paint a picture? Because anything that I've written, and you can go into my catalog as well. If I don't write it, I don't put it out. That's just the way I just the way I am as an artist. I don't feel as as accomplished if I take someone else's melody and and words, and then do something with it. Which I don't think is a bad idea for other artists. But just me myself, I don't. I don't feel comfortable write, uh, having someone else write something for me. But uh, yeah, so that's my f few of my favorite songwriters. I know there's a huge amount from like the past, but this is just in my time, you know, like I'm 30, 31 years old. This is just within my, my time period of being alive and, and being influenced uh, on music. It's a very new, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't really take much notes from like older, older acts until I got a little older, like in my 20s. But yeah, I mean, I know that there's so many ones, so many great songwriters before the time period that I've given you guys. Because I think the, the oldest one was probably dated back to the 80s, which was Tool. But uh, I know there's so many more, man. Like there's just y'all y'all give me a list of y'all's favorite songwriters in the comments. Like I always ask. All right. And if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and comment down below and check my music out, all right? The reason I'm always talking about music and songwriting and all that, you know, is because I do music myself, all right? So please, go check it out, please. All right? Oh, and check out the merch too, guys. Like me and my girl, we have Beauty and the Freak merch on in the description. It's always up, for, uh, always up there. You can support us by purchasing something we'd greatly appreciate it y'all have a blessed day and be productive it's cash maybe take his life maybe take his soul maybe i just gotta wake his ass maybe. up from a lovely way of life i agree that your chain is nice but what the chain really worth his life i guess i'll never really know it's fine flexing thinking that he can't be touched sorry buddy i can call the bluff I can. Head big, brain small as fuck About to pop it like a balloon and run <laughs> And maybe I'm really just too dramatic Do too much, it's just a habit And homie, I can really humble you And really have you hiding in your mama's attic I If I don't do it, somebody else will And I agree, yeah, the chain is nice But what the chain really worth your life? Guess we'll never really know, it's fine I'm vibing on the island Feeling like a pilot They ain't looking at my necklace hey. Shades on cause the shit too blinded I'm shiny and I'm so confident They call it cocky But I call it confidence yeah. Had a big head, now you got a little head I call it confidence Had a big head, now you got a little head